What's Shaggy Chewy Nation? Chewbacca Let me here back with another Madden 18 video today. The Road 2 series returns. Last time we did a Levante David. This week I thought about going with the offense aside. I'm like, I really want to upgrade my running back, but I don't really see any great running backs out there besides Bo Jackson. I've used him. I have him at tight end currently. Can't have two Bo Jacksons on the team. So I decided to go with my wife's favorite player. You know, you got to please the wife. She loves J.J. Watt, as do I. We are Houston Texans fans. Though he is a right end, I can't really upgrade Joey Bosa. He's the best right end in the game. Joey Bosa maybe the best defensive. Uh, Sean Taylor, but he's one of the best players overall in the game. J.J. Watt, if you compare him to Geno, because he's actually going to be my number one defense tackle, he's actually better in everything. Even though his overall doesn't say that, J.J. Watt, absolutely amazing in the middle. You can put him in a spot. He has 81 catching. He's going to catch a lot of those passes if they throw it at him that many of the defense tackles will drop. So I really like this J.J. Watt. And if you stick around at the end, there is a little special surprise as well. But let's go ahead and get into this, this uh, video. We looked at two filters today. The playoff promo filter playoff program filter is back. I use it because it's good. If you don't know... I used this in my last video as well. It's still amazing. So anybody that says I kill the filters, 10,000 people watch that video, and this filter is still absolutely incredible. I'm using the letter C because it allowed me to see 59 minutes. The one critique that people said in last video was I, can't, I couldn't see the newest cars. I couldn't get to see 59 minutes. You see, I'm doing NFL playoffs. Oh, it's 28 minutes. How can I make that C59? I tried the letter C. And it worked. It got it to 59. And you see we got a Brockers there. Try cap value. Mess with 21 to 30, 31 to 40, 41 to 50. If it still doesn't work, maybe go through chemistries or try putting the letter A in or the letter E or I tried the letter C. There's a lot of different things you can try to make it say 59 minutes. Whether you're on PlayStation or Xbox, there's so many different ways you can do it. Uh, currently, I'm doing the letter C because it was a decent amount of people on. But if you can't get that to work, definitely mess with the cap value. That's probably the easiest way to do it. But you see we're off and running. That Robinson at the beginning, Eagles, wow. They really are, they're, they're probably amazed at how well he played this year. He had a fantastic year. But as you see, a lot of these are just really small ones. We do, we do this until we make, I think we only did this for like a half hour. This was pretty crazy. This half hour of sniping playoff cards. I thought about doing it for the entire video. But I'm like, no, nah, you guys probably don't want to see the same filter over and over again but then I switched to another filter I did for the rest of the video and I made so many coins I just couldn't stop doing it so you'll see that in a minute after we make a ton of coins on the playoff promo so at this moment I was selling them all for 13,750 it's really easy to figure out what they go for all you got to do is hit NFL playoffs and then just search by buy now don't have any filter at all just see what the cheapest ones are up for if you just do NFL playoffs buy now and you'll find them to be at, what, 13, 14, 15,000. That's basically what you want to sell them for. And you see we got a really nice snipe there. Super easy to figure out what they go for. And then you just sell them for that. You, you can actually get a lot of snipes for like 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000 coins. You know, make a really nice profit. You just saw a nice one on the funches there. But really, that's what it comes down to. A lot of these are not big snipes. Even when we get to our other filter, it's a lot bigger snipes. But there's still a lot of like 5,000 coin snipes. It doesn't... The fact that we made as many coins as we did in this video, and I'm telling you, we made a lot of coins. This Derrick Henry was a really nice snipe as well. We made a lot of coins. It's still, these little guys add up. I think we had a total of 55 snipes, I want to say. 54 or 55 snipes in this video. So there's quite a lot of quite a lot going on here. As you see, not a good deal on Nick Foles. I don't know what I was thinking there, but then a Corey Davis pops up. So you see a lot of the same cards over and over again. Let me know. I think you guys like it. Does this green with the black background for the profit and the the what you make per card, does that help? Is that good? Is that visible? It looks clear on my end. And when I watch it, I'm like, yeah, I, I think it looks pretty good. I, I hope it does because I've been going back and forth. There was yellow. There was red. But I feel like this finally looks really good. So I'm happy with it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, let me know what you guys think for a future Road 2. I might have mentioned that at the beginning. I don't remember. I've been talking for a few minutes. But let me know who you guys want to see. Do you want to see Terrell Davis? Do you want to see another uh, Franco Harris? You know, maybe we upgrade our fullback. Or do you want to see Kurt Warner? Whatever you want to see, let me know. They won't be that bad to do because I do have cards that I can sell at those positions. So if I do a Kurt Warner, I can sell Brady and count that towards it because... 
maybe. Or maybe I don't count that towards it. I don't know what you guys want to see. But anyways, maybe not because you guys want, might want to be able to build this from scratch. You don't have Tom Brady on your team. I do. So maybe I'll just do it without selling the card. But you see, we're, we're almost at 50000 Like I said, I only used this filter for about a half hour. And we're still going. It was not that long. We hit so much. This was all sniped on Sunday. Every single card in this video was sniped on Sunday. This was one of the craziest days of sniping I've had. Because I usually don't snipe for that long that I've had. I sniped this for about a half hour. The other one I did sporadically throughout the day. I don't really know how much time I've used, I have used on it. But I do know it was all in one day. Every single snipe on the same day. Here, another Nick Foles. Just stocking up here. So, yeah, do you guys want to see Todd Gurley get upgraded? I don't really know what other positions to upgrade. Some people want to see Cleo Mack over Von Miller. That wouldn't be too bad. I love the plus two block shed, of course. So, eh. I mean, we could pick up Von Miller and sub him in. Sorry, Cleo Mack. But you don't get that as we get a really nice DeMarco hit there. If you see me waiting, it's because I actually don't know how much a card goes for. You especially see that towards the end of the video when I'm like, I really don't know what to put this card up for. We end up getting, end up putting this card up for seventy nine thousand. Nice hit there. But uh, we're at fifty four thousand. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. We could get Cleo Mac, sub him in. You don't get the under pressure Kim, but you still get, you still get the Cleo Mac card, which is absolutely amazing. And under pressure, I don't know. Has it been good for you guys? People have tried it out. Kelvin Benjamin. You see, I don't even know if these are good snipes. I take a few seconds. I'm like, is that even a good deal? And it ends up being a lot. You know, obviously these are all snipes in this video, but almost 10,000 coins there, but you don't have to be super fast. Obviously, you kind of have to know if it's a good deal. You see us switch filters now. You do have to know if it's a good deal. This Martellus Bennett, I thought it was a good deal. I see the cheapest one at 21 just by sorting by buy now. I'm like, I could probably sell it for 20, right? Go to find out, it was like, there were so many up for like 18, 19 that weren't showing up. It did end up selling for 20 with like three minutes left. So I got a little lucky there, but I bought a lot of these Martellus Bennett's. I sold them for a little bit less throughout the rest of the video. But that's not a good deal on Rogers. But we do have a Rogers snipe later in on this video. But you see us. All we're doing is flashback newest. Refresh, 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 refresh. There we go. Just double click. All you got to do is double click on any of those that say all. Double click, double, du double click, double click. And you will see a Ryan Kerrigan pop up. And this is a really good hit right, right at the start. We were just flying with this filter. Almost 11,000 on that. Just, just killing it. If the filter is too full by just doing flashback. So... I mean, it's not hard filter, right? You know, you just get on here, you just hit newest, and it's it's good. Martellus spin it for 10. Yes, please. I got that right after the Kerrigan snipe. That was the crazy thing. You've seen it. Like, me go right back to the filter, and I hit it. So, if it's too full, you'll notice towards the end of the video, I went ahead and added that letter A. It was barely too full. So, just mess around with it. You don't have to do too much. If you don't see 59 minutes, try the letter A. That's probably the, the one that... It was at like 57 minutes. It should get it to 59. If it has like 53 minutes, you might have to try E, I, try some other things. See, like, I don't even know if these are good deals. I like, go ahead and buy that Maxwell there. Ends up being a good deal. Selling for 36. You'll see a common trend of cards that pop up because I'm doing flashbacks. A ton of Maxwells, a ton of Bennett's. I pass up on Bennett's at this point. I'm basically only buying them for 14 and under. I think that's kind of where I set them. Maybe a little bit less. 15 was just not the number. Uh, you see me sometimes mess up on my clicking as well, which is. Uh, you know, it happens. You see an Eric Berry pop up. This was the only Eric Berry sniped. Of course, this this card doesn't get shown that much. JJ Watt, I was worried when I was doing this video that I wouldn't be able to find a JJ Watt in the auction house because as I'm doing this recording, there's not a single one on Xbox or PlayStation. So I got a little lucky there, but let's go ahead and keep going. You see, refresh, refresh, refresh. Just hit the AA on AA on Xbox or XX on PlayStation, and you see another. Byron Maxwell over there for 30 and see I still wasn't sure I'm like is that even a still a good deal I actually still second guessing it even though I bought so many of them so you know maybe I'm not the best sniper in the world I'm solid at it but I I don't know every single price and I know prices fluctuate a lot so I'm a little hesitant to buy some cards even though if they've been up for you know a few a few times and I've sniped them already I'm like yeah maybe his card values went down a little bit I'm not sure so I go ahead and check it and uh, thankfully, a lot of these. I think there was there's only two cards I missed throughout this whole entire sniping. Um, I think there was only two, maybe three. One I show in this video. Another one was a Julian Edelman for 4,800, which sells for over 40,000. So that was pretty rough. The one that I missed, though, the big one was actually even rougher than that, unfortunately. But 
as you see, all you do is keep refreshing. This could get really boring if you, you know, if you hate sniping. Just refresh, refresh, refresh. But stuff pops up quite a lot, especially on this flashback filter. And this is it. Aaron Rodgers, you see I don't even get a perfect... Look at that. Up for six, seven seconds. And I still got that Aaron Rodgers. And that's the biggest snipe in this entire video. 42,500 profit there. And some people ask also, like, don't you take in the 10%? Yeah, the 10% is... that. That thing that comes in the bottom, that box that I have when I sell the card, that the 10% is already taken out of. You should be able to find out how much I paid, look at that box, subtract the two numbers, and they should be the, the correct number that I'm adding to it. Anybody can check that, of course. I don't want to deceive you guys, but if you're wondering where the 10% tax, you see I sell I sell it for 48, 43,200 after tax. So a lot of Geno sniped as well in this video. So you see a lot of Brandon Cooks, which I don't think we've got to him yet. Some Edelman's at the end. Some Geno Atkins as well, uh, some Petersons, some I don't know, all over the place. So well, there's there's a lot of a lot of variety here uh, in this video. You see, I don't even know what I was doing, but it was I just refreshed, and you see another Byron Maxwell. So a lot of the a lot of a lot of repeats, of course, is not a whole lot of flashbacks, and especially the cheap ones are really one, good ones to snipe. I didn't see really many Cameron Wakes at all. Um, yeah, but really, if you know, once you start doing this filter for like an hour, what you'll find out, I think I go ahead and pull the trigger on this Martellus Bennett yet. Yeah. What you'll find out is that you start understand, you like know the prices. And some of them I think I know and I still second guess myself, but like I know I can sell this guy for 19000 I sold one for 20 I'm like, I'll just sew it up for 19 because it barely sold. And I, I had that, that's basically what's going on in my head when I'm sniping. I'm like, okay, I know I can sell Byron Maxwell for 36 So. For the most part, when I see one for 30 and under, I'm automatically pulling the trigger. Adrian Peterson, yes please, perfect refresh too. Adrian Peterson, the only Adrian Peterson I think I snipe, maybe one more in this video. You see that's a really good, a really good Peterson snipe here when it shows the profit. We're already at 178,400 coins. That was almost over 9,000 coins actually. So pretty, pretty darn solid. If you guys, if you guys want to see more variety on filters, definitely let me know as well. I, I did want to do that. It was actually part of the plan. That's always that I moved on from the playoff promo, the playoff program. But I just like, I, I felt like I was doing so well. You see a Josh Norman. I was so sure that was a good deal there. Josh Norman, a really good hit there on, uh, I think it was like, yeah, 24,000 coins. So over 200,000 coins at this point. But I was doing so well. Like I said, this was all in one day. The playoff I did in the morning before church, and then I got on just sporadically through the day and sniped and just saved the clips, and there you go. So you see another Martellus Bennett. These, you could pass on if you want. I just, I just when I see cards that I know I can profit on it, even if it's only 2,000 coins, 1,000 coins, I usually go ahead and pull the trigger. I, I don't know. It's it, You can go either way. But for me, if I know I can sell it, of course, I'll try. And I sh I'm, since I'm, I'm pretty confident those are going to sell for a good amount, I go ahead and I do go ahead and pull the trigger. So you see, we still have the letter A in there. I think when we get ooh, 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 ooh yes, please, Gino, and get that. I wasn't sure if I would even get that. But you see, later in the video, I do, I do, I do have the A now. I get rid of the A because it was later at night uh, when I finished my snipe. So not as many people on, but another 48,000, 12,450. And we're up to 217,000. Let me know what you guys think of the Super Bowl promo. If you haven't already looked at that, they added a ton of legends, which was pretty cool. Oh, another Peterson snipe. Sweet. They added a ton of legends, which I thought was awesome. I don't know the overall promo. I know you, by doing solos, which are kind of lengthy, at the end you get a 95 full legend or what it's Super Bowl legend. 95 overall card, which of course is awesome. I really think this year they have done exceptional on solos. Some people think, of course, it could be better. They hate that they're long games. You see another Maxwell here. I'm still not sure if these are... Because the pro, the reason why I wasn't sure is because I see a jump, though, all the way up. There was two and then a jump to 37. Is because there was so many, ha so many popping up. I'm like, is that still a good deal? And it was, of course. But... I really do like what they've done with the solos. The Gauntlet Unleashed has been good. The journey was terrible, all right? The journey was actually terrible. I 100% agree with that. I think that was a waste of my time. If I don't even... I, I Of course you don't know that. I got it on EA Access, and I spent so much time on that before, before the game officially came out. But for me, I wish they, of course, did something 
a little bit better. I don't know if they're just giving up on Journey. I guess they probably would have come out with it by now. Maybe we'll still see Journey again. You see his Maxwells are just... This one I tried a little, tried to get a little bit more out of it, and I did. But I think 36500 was the total I settled on there. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good, I think. Getting a 95 overall... Is, is pretty solid for even if they're full games there's something for you to do maybe when you're you know don't not want to play some a competitive game of course I think what they need to do though is actually you see oh here's the miss look at that it was in the second slot that's so frustrating because it was a bad refresh and we miss it that was that was a little hard to take but I wish that uh, the the head to head rewards were better. That's what I Brandon Cooks here sitting in the second slot. Please get that. Please please don't miss it. Thank you, Brandon Cooks up for over what, twelve seconds. But head to head rewards. I want a Super Bowl on all Madden first. I want a Super Bowl on all Madden first. You know what I got? I just got a few tokens out of it. What like ten tokens or fifteen tokens? And I ended up getting Jordan Reed because I play a decent amount of head to head, more head to head than I probably ever played in Madden. But they gotta have better. Give us a player. If you give us a player for doing solos, I feel like you should get a player for playing some head-to-head -head as well. If you want a Super Bowl on all Madden, like they did last year, give us a 90, maybe just even a 90-plus pack. It doesn't even have to be something great. Maybe a 92-plus at this point. 93-plus. I don't know. But I think that would be pretty cool. An amazing Joe Hayden right there. 28,800. We're up to 265. But for me, I would love to see... you see. So this is... You see me going back to my filter. I exited out. I took a picture. because Something just sold. I get on... And this is just how it was going. I see a Brandon Cooks over there for 26.5. And am I going to buy that? Okay, I'm going to look. All right, I was going to say that seems like a good deal to me. 26.5 and 30 and then 31. Then you see a jump to 36. I think that was mine still up at 36. So I go ahead and put this one up. I think that was for 35.5. I undercut myself. But I still make 5,400 plus there uh, on that. So that's pretty solid. This uh, Cameron Wake, eh, I don't know. This this is for people, I guess, that if you don't want to spend a ton of coins, on, I mean, it's, it's a gimme. You could probably sell for a little bit more. I put it up for 20 get my 1,000 coins. I'm just looking at this. I'm like, should I buy it? Not meaning to compare there, but I guess I'll make a 1,000 coins. If, eh, I don't know. It's obviously not really doing too much to our total, but we go ahead and just tow it up for 20 We know it will sell. Probably could have threw it up for a little bit more, but it is what it is. And then we have... We're looking at uh, Jordan Hicks here at 60,000. I don't think, is this where we hit a Jordan Hicks? We actually do hit a Jordan Hicks. So we, it's, oh no, we get the Brady Cooks. We actually have an idea now how much we can sell it for. So keep that in mind when we get to later. That does help, definitely. Knowledge is power, right? When you got these prices down, I was doing this filter for a while. So I was getting these prices down. I'm like, I don't know how much this Hicks goes for. This will be good to know in the future. Again, we sell another Brandon Cooks for 36,000. Just absolutely killing it on the Brandon Cooks at this point. It's weird how things go in just like phase. It seems like you're getting, it seems like you get like, okay, we go ahead and decide to pull that trigger on Cam Newton. I did not waste any time. I was certain on that one that I was going to be able to sell that Cam Newton for a good price there. And I think I ended up putting it up for like 38. But yeah, if I am like, if I'm hesitating, it's because I actually don't know what to sell it for. So I think 38.5. So I was just kind of sitting there not sure because I was looking it up on my head. Might as well get maximum value, right? Another Brandon Cooks there. These guys are just flying off the shelf, you know? They're just keep putting them up. But again, I'm just like, should I? I, I still, I, I'm not 100% sure. It was up for 40 seconds, though, almost. And I, so you don't have to be the fastest guy out there, especially. You might miss a few, depending on if other people are sniping, of course. And it, again, it depends on the time of day. But you see 4,000 coins right there. A gimme, really. I mean, those things sold. I think the, I, there was only like three cards out of the 55 that I bought. You see us, the first... <laughs> this is how good this filter was. We were just getting on, and it was just like hit, hit. It was just so much. Uh, 55,000 there for a Jordan Hicks. And again, I was pretty sure it was a good deal. But if you remember, it was at like 60 and then 65. I'm like, man, can I sell this guy for like 70 maybe? Maybe? And I end up selling it for, what, 71? So... That worked out pretty well. But it, do, it does depend on when you're on. You see we still have the A in there. Uh, flashback. Of course, the same sort of thing works for motivators. Or I guess we'll go ahead and pull the trigger. Here's another one we pull the trigger on that. Uh, eh, we can make a little bit here. I think we sell for like 19.5. It does depend on how many people are on, of course. But we go ahead and pull the trigger. 19.5. And uh, make, I think that's what it was. We go ahead and make a few coins there. 15.50. Not much, but you know, it does add up. We're almost at 
hundred thousand coins. Right now, it's just with the Aaron Rodgers snipe, the Joe Hayden snipe, and then a bunch of, I'm sure there's a few others, a bunch of little ones, another Brandon Cooks. I don't know how many Brandon Cooks we sniped in this, but it had to be like at least five, maybe more. And we got, we got, I think we might even have some more, maybe one or two more. So it's, it's still coming. There's a few Genos as well. It's, it was a it was a good time. So if you haven't tried this, of course, I definitely recommend it. You may not even have to put the letter A in there, honestly. Just check to see when you do newest uh, if if indeed you need the A. You may very well not need the letter A. Motivators work really well as well with this. Just motivators, just refresh, refresh, refresh. And you could check around team of the year. You'll have to do some, you know, with salary cap maybe or overalls. You know, the playoff promo I already talked about. There's a lot of good promos out there that can provide very good very good profit. Super Bowl, I haven't looked at it much. It's very new uh, right now when I'm recording, so I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sh I, I bet there's some stuff out there to find some good filters as well. So definitely uh, mess around. The, the Really, the only thing you really need to make sure is that you're seeing 59 minutes. If you're seeing those newest cards, your filter is probably pretty solid. Then it just depends on... You know, if you want a big hit filter, do you want a small hit? Do you want a filter like this that can go like big hit or small hit? Like it's kind of like team by team. If you remember, I love team by team because you could hit some like crazy big snipe if you're on if you get the right refresh, or you might just get a bunch of little snipes. And that's I, you see me. I'm not. I, how many genos did I snipe? And I still don't know if I can sell this. I'm sometimes I'm such a ding dong, but I love filters that provide you small. You know some small profits but also has the potential for big profits because it keeps you engaged i think you can get really easily burnt out on sniping i think many people would say that they hate it because they feel like they always get burnt out on it you know they can't do it for more than a few minutes but if you're sniping a card like every like five minutes to me like it's much easier to stay engaged than doing a filter like 94 95 or even 96 97 and just refresh 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 and hope that something pops up you could do that for a half hour an hour and not make a single coin if you do something like this, you may not have the big hit potential, straight big hit potential. I mean, it's there, but it's going to be a lot of smaller stuff as well. As opposed to if you hit something over there, you might be making, you know, way more than you're making on this filter. But there's only so many people that, as you see, we just we just got that card and we're going to get another one here. There's only so many people that get those snipes, right? Like, there's not that many big snipes to go around. How many times do you land... An absolutely ginormous snipe. We sold the last one for like 92, so I don't know if there was a hesitation there or just being silly, but we go ahead and get that Joe Hayden. Sold this one for 90. The 92 was about maximum. I'm pretty darn sure of that. I don't think we were touching 92 again. We got a little lucky with that, but I'll take 90,000. Still really solid. Joe Hayden. Unfortunately, we missed the one Joe Hayden, but it still ends up working out. Another Cam Newton here for 30. Really solid. Good refresh there. So we're, we're feeling pretty good. We're up to 350 after this Cam Newton will be over 350,000 coins. And if you're JJY is around 450,000 coins. So we know we have a little bit more to go for sure, but we're going to keep grinding and hopefully be able to get up there. Like I said, we sniped 50 plus cars, so quite a lot. But Cam Newton, Martellus Bennett, Revis, I was hoping to get one of those. Of course, those things go for a nice, pretty penny. But we never really saw a Revis is like JJ Wiley like never pops up. A DeCastro here for 38. Please, yes, a good refresh. And we go ahead and land that DeCastro. Didn't see, I think that might have been the only DeCastro we sniped. And look at that, almost 20,000 coins there. Thank you very much. And I don't. I wish I knew how exact, the exact amount of time I spent sniping. I know a lot of you guys want to know how long did it take. I know it was all done on a Sunday. I know all these coins that was made, and it was a lot, were sniped. On a Sunday, so if that makes you feel better, I'm not sure. That might make I don't know how that will make you feel. I know it was done on a Sunday, and I know I had church, and I know my wife and I hung out a little bit, so I know it wasn't like all day Sunday. But I'm not sure exact time. You see Woodley here. I probably could have held off and sold that for a little bit more, but I was pretty happy with that. And here it is. So we're at 382,000. It was crazy. What are the? We have the letter A. We're on flashbacks, and we're just refresh, refresh, refresh. I didn't even mention this. But you know JJ Watt has a letter A in it, and you know he's a flashback. One gets posted for 324,000. It's a 450,000 coin card. We snipe JJ Watt in the video that we're trying to get JJ Watt. Absolutely insane. 
We're, we still have 58,000 left over. So what I was thinking here is, why don't we keep going and let's do something special with this JJ Watt. It's my wife's favorite player. We'll probably keep him on the team for the rest of the year. Some version of JJ Watt. So you know what? Let's go ahead and let's just keep going. So we get a Julian Edelman and I tell you, this all happened very quickly. Julian Edelman, 14,450. This was Sunday right before I went to bed and I sniped these cars within, I don't even know, it probably wasn't more than like 20, 30 minutes, and it was just bang, 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 so many big hits. Honestly, this filter was just killing it. I'm, I'm almost afraid to put this video out because probably, kill, well, I guess it won't kill it because the NFL playoff video I put out last week, and it still is doing very well, so I guess it should be, a, look at this Joe Hayden. I, I can't believe how many Joe Haydens. <laughs> we sold this one for like 86, yeah, so 25,000 coins. Joe Hayden, I tell you, why is that card so so good to snipe i have no idea but i'm very happy that we're able to land that and let's let's see let's see then we got some more julian edelman's coming maybe a brandon cooks in here uh which will add up quite a lot uh, Thirty thousand on edelman again i know for certain i can sell these for over forty thousand a hundred percent i looked up up on, looked him up on mutthead and we do indeed sell him for i think that was what forty two thousand something forty one thousand seven fifty i think uh, and then we got that 10% tax in there. Math, you know, important, important thing. Let's go ahead and keep refreshing and hope we hit something good. We're up to 106,000 over. So we took the 324,000 at JJ Watt. We still are 106,000 over that. And like I said, I plan on doing this on Sunday. And then I'm like, I'll put the video up on Monday. That was the plan. And it just kind of happened that it was working so well. I'm like, you know what? Let's just keep going. You see we land a nice Julian Edelman. And so I want to show this just to show you that. So I just posted that, right? I put it up and like Julian Edelman, great. Go ahead and newest. And we see another brand code. Like this is what it was like. It was seriously, absolutely insane that it, it just it just kept happening. It just kept, kept happening. We only got a couple more snipes. And then we're going to go ahead and show you where this JJ Watt puts us at. We go ahead and do that. I think we just have one more snipe actually. The final snipe. We're at 118,000 coins. I wasn't sure that Incognito, that might have been a good deal. I never looked him up. I didn't feel like looking him up. 49,000 because I sold him close to 60, maybe. I'm not sure. And a Brandon Cooks, look at that. 19,500. It was perfect to refresh as well. You love seeing one hour. Almost guaranteed to get those snipes. And we go ahead and throw him up there. I think again for like 36, somewhere around there. 36,500. And that's a 13,000. We had a hundred and 32,000 left over. So what did we decide to do? We went ahead and decided to put together all these silver tokens. Well, really, we just needed two silver tokens and two gold tokens. We already had one gold token left over, or maybe we we had them by just put. Yeah, we put in a bunch of our Texans golds that we had on our team. So we go ahead and snag this Texan silver, and we go ahead and make two of those. So that way we can make the JJ Watt set. And then once we put, once we have that, we can go ahead and make JJ Watt. So let's go ahead, Texans upgrade JJ Watt. Let's power this guy up. We already had the, we used him for salary cap to 75 overall. So early in the year, so we already had him. So that was pretty nice. Uh, and now we just got to buy this. Unfortunately, this 90 overall. I think you could maybe find him a little bit cheaper. I'm not sure, but we end up do we do end up deciding. I'm, I was debating on waiting to see if I can find them cheaper. But I'm like, this price, 78.5, doesn't seem like it's that bad. So I get decide to go ahead and do it. Should have probably looked it up on Mutthead. I, I I think it was a pretty good price, though. So we picked up JJ Watt so we could go ahead and power him up. 78.5 plus some stuff left over sitting around. We definitely had enough coins left over from this half hour, uh, not half hour sniping. No, wrong video, wrong series. We definitely had enough coins slash players left over to go ahead and make this set. So we go ahead and put those in. We need a gold token. We didn't have one, so we go ahead and just decide to buy this one for 22000 We probably could have made one for a little bit cheaper. Texans are pretty cheap, but sometimes you just get lazy and you're just like, you know what? I made a lot of coins. I have enough left over, not cheating. And so we go ahead and get that. Now let's go ahead and put these in. Nope, just kidding. He's in my lineup, so let's not do that. Now let's go ahead and put it. Uh, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put him in. JJ Watt, tier four, 95 overall. At, at defensive tackle, you see he's a 93 overall. At defensive end, I think he's a 96. 
So that's pretty solid with the chemistry boost. But I do think he's going to be the defensive tackle for me. He did get a plus two speed boost, but no block shed boost, which is kind of weird. I don't think he got a block shed boost. I don't understand that. But still an amazing card, an amazing defense tackle. I feel like this card is going to be really good. I don't love the card as an edge rusher like a Joey Bosa, but his traits are all yes. He has much better stats than Geno Atkins. You see the cap is plus eight. Battle ready, won't get it unless he's starting or somebody else has battle ready on my team. Battle ready is not really that important. Just for tackling, if you get into those tackling, uh, whatever, battle battle situations, you can just you know that it's going to be A. That's what Battle Ready or X on PlayStation. It's not really that great, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know who you guys want to see in the next episode. This was a half-hour video, not by design, but hopefully you guys don't mind. Thank you guys so much. You guys are absolutely incredible. That's all I got. Chewbacca Lemma, out.